All right, peeps, dealing with grandparents. I've had this conversation three times this week. What do you do around this time of year or any time of year when your grandparents just won't listen to what you're trying to educate your kids and just end up giving your kids sweets and chocolates and everything else? So my first thing is you have to set the boundary, but you have to set the boundary by sitting down and actually having a conversation. It can't be a fleeting thing. It can't be an in-the-moment thing. Oh, we don't give them that this um, that in our house. It has to be a sit-down conversation. Let them understand your boundary and your why and the consequence if you're not going to set the boundary, if they're not going to actually adhere to the boundary. So this is what I would do. Sit them down, have a conversation. And I know sometimes if it's your in-laws rather than your own parents, it can be a little bit more difficult. So maybe get your partner involved if it happens to be his parents. Just saying, guys, step up. So sit them down and set the boundary. Hey, I love that you love treating our kids. I can tell it's how you show them love, but I just love you guys if you could listen to us for a moment. And then you have to actually check that they've listened, right? So sit them down, Hi guys, we just wanted to have a chat about boundaries in regards to sweets and chocolates and TV around this time of year. Actually, any time of year that we come to your house, I know that it shows you love, so validate them. We know that this is how you show them love. We know you love to treat the kids because they're your grandkids, but we'd really appreciate it if you can keep that away from the sweets and chocolates and TV and find another way to make them feel special and show them your love. We really are trying to educate the kids around what makes us feel good, what makes our brains thrive, what makes our tummies feel good, and what gives us the best energy, and sweets and chocolates just aren't it. And then you have to make sure they've listened and heard. Cool. Do you understand? Do you have any questions? Are you happy to like join us on this and see what they say? If they say no, we're going to give it to them. Then you have to just set the expectation. I really can't have you giving my kids all this stuff when I come to your house. I really would hate for us to not ha- be able to come over as often. I know it sounds harsh, but so many of you have messaged me saying it drives you freaking nuts. It is a difficult conversation to have. It is going to take some guts. It is going to take some confidence to sit down and go, I need to do this. But if you don't do something about it, then you have to deal with what's going to happen when you're there. And that's that they're going to give you things. Now, someone said to me, oh, I have tried, but I got this pushback. Oh, well, we're okay and you're okay. So what does it matter? And you just have to sit there and say, that's fine. And that's great that that's how you parented, but this is how I'm parenting. And these are my kids. So I'd really appreciate it if you could be on board with the boundaries I'm setting. So just hold your own, hold your foot. I know it's tough, but like anything that I talk about, Once it's done, you're going to feel so proud of yourself that you did it, that you sat down, you set the boundary, and the chances are they're going to go, oh, sure, that's fine, no worries, we'll get on board. And you'll be like, oh, that was it. Yeah? So let me know if you need to have these tough conversations. Let me know how you go. I hope this helped. Um, Let me know. Hope it does.